April is filled with great new titles, and there are so many more that I couldn't cover them all. I've tried to select the most interesting titles that are not just for me, but hopefully for you guys too. This list is arranged by release date, so don't worry about the placement of the games. I've also included 5 great bonus games that I think you might enjoy. This is my first video in this format, so please let me know if you want to see more. And before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date and to help me grow. Minishot Adventures is a charming little exploration and twin stick shooter action game. In this beautifully handcrafted world, our job is to navigate a small ship through the world, fight enemies and bosses, upgrade our ship and rescue our friends. This is your typical bullet hell game where we need to overcome bosses in intense battles, fight new powers to improve our combat and exploration abilities, while also opening the map bit by bit as we unlock new paths and shortcuts. We will be able to upgrade our ship through levels, items found along the way and by buying equipment. We will also be able to find adorable friends along our way and each of them will help us in their own way. This is a game not only for veterans of the genre but also for newcomers. This charming cozy title is something for people who love cozy farming games. Butless Woods is a 3D open world survival game where we will gather various resources, cultivate crops, build our dream home and defend it from marauders. This game is not only your cozy, relaxing game but also a survival game where you have to explore the world, fight enemies and protect yourself from natural and human threats in a land where survival is a constant challenge. Along our way we will find a handful of friendly NPCs, uncover secrets of the ruins, find hidden treasures and make unexpected discoveries. This game looks really interesting and may bring a great balance between cozy and survival gaming. Also the graphical style is really good and I hope it will turn out to be a great title. This is one of the most unique entries on this list. We will play Russian Roulette with something called the Dealer. A 12 gauge shotgun, 2 players, 1 winner. Simple as that. The game takes around 15, maybe 20 minutes to finish with 3 rounds that we have to win. There are various items on the table that we can use, we can make the opponent lose a round, so of barrels from the gun and so on. We have to beat the dealer in his own game using what we can and that includes our luck. Sons of Valhalla is a combat and base build the game set in the Viking Age. This beautiful pixel art game is one of my favorite games on this list. I already covered this game in one of my first videos about medieval pixel art games, so if you are interested you can find the link to the video in the pinned comment. This game is a 2D side-scrolling game which may look very similar to the Kingdom game. In this title we will build our village, which is the key to our quest, we will create and upgrade a variety of buildings, fortify our village against attacks, raid nearby settlements, manage the economy, accumulate power and finally conquer villages. We will of course recruit troops, issue orders, siege fortresses and so much more. This game looks actually really amazing and has one of the best and most beautiful pixel arts I ever seen. Biomorph is a really interesting title. This is a dark metroidvania game where we become the creatures that we kill along our way. In this game our skill really matters. We must explore a vast varied world, solve puzzles and platforming challenges, fight deadly monsters and take their shapes and use their powers. Every monster that we defeat and steal power from will at some point come across us again with unlocked powers. So. Coming back to well-known areas will create a unique experience. We are able to choose our fighting style using an arsenal of melee and ranged weapons, each with its unique skill tree. Now, what's unique in this game is that we will be able to rebuild the city of Blightmoor and befriend its inhabitants. We will be able to personalize this village and get to know the daily life of the town's residents. Broken Roads is another great title coming out this month. This is also a game that I managed to cover in one of my older videos. 
This game is a story-rich party-based RPG set in a decaying post-apocalyptic version of the vast Australian outback. This game is a love letter to traditional role-playing games like Fallout and Wasteland. It's one of my favorite genres because of my love for old Fallout games. It definitely captures that Wasteland feeling and I'm eager to try it when it comes out. This is of course your typical adventure where we must survive, form bonds, make tough choices and explore the beautifully crafted world. Europa is an interesting adventure game. We play as an android named Z, embarking on a journey in search of answers. We explore Europa, a largely terraformed moon of Jupiter. We run, glide and fly across the landscape, solving mysteries and puzzles and uncovering the story of the last human alive. This is a peaceful adventure exploration and meditation game where we travel and gradually upgrade the capabilities of our jetpack, allowing us to travel more freely. Europa offers a relaxing experience as we explore the breathtaking worlds of lakes, meadows and mountains. Kingsgrave is a gloomy metroidvania adventure inspired by classic Zelda games. In this game we take on the role of a mighty monarch awakened from slumber. A disease has struck the kingdom, killing our people, wilting our lands and forming monsters from the souls of the dead. Our job will be to restore our kingdom, unlock new abilities, collect resources, build houses and slay enemies to slowly dispel the darkness. There are a lot of different places to explore, deserts, volcanoes and other biomes in this ruined interconnected world. This game looks very promising, there are many things to do and to explore. The pixel art is amazing, giving off this dark and dull vibe that actually reminds me of Graveyard Keeper. I think it will be a great title. From Moon Studios, the award-winning developers of Ori and the Blind Forest and Ori and the Will of Wisps, comes No Rest for the Wicked. This is a very interesting action-adventure game with precision-based combat. It combines the most challenging aspects from the Souls-like genre and other challenging RPG elements from games like Path of Exile, for example. This is a major dark narrative about cunning rulers and ferocious rebels, all while an ancient plague sweeps across the land, turning its inhabitants into monstrous versions of themselves. We will explore this beautifully handcrafted world built with incredible attention to detail. You can actually see some similarity in terms of art style to Ori. Additionally, you can play this game in co-op mode, so every quest, boss and map will be shared with your friends. This game looks really amazing and I hope it will turn out to be as great as Ori. And before we jump to the number one, I prepared some bonus games for you. Manor Lords is a medieval strategy game featuring in-depth city building, large-scale tactical battles and complex economic and social simulations. This game provides a gridless city building experience with freedom of placement, which you could already see in other games like The Good Old Banished or City Skylines. You will also have to manage your resources, build your city to fulfill all the needs of your citizens and consider every possible outcome. 
Of course, this is not only your typical economical city builder. You will have to train your armies and fight off enemies. You have to lead your people into battle, but you must also remember that they are not easily replaceable. So remember that every death is worth considering. This is one of the best and most interesting titles this month and I'm eager to play it. And that's everything that I prepared for you today. I hope you liked this video and found some great new games to play and to add it to your wishlists. And tell me which game you liked the most. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.